All right, guys. Uh, my brother's going to be bringing over his uh, 2001 uh, Saturn. It's a five-speed manual. Um, he's having some issues with the uh, the key cylinder. Uh, the key is actually getting stuck in uh, the uh, the ignition key. Is getting stuck in the uh, uh, steering column. Um, he's having issues starting the car. Sometimes he, you know, he'll turn it over and won't, won't start. Um, pulls the key out a little bit. Sometimes it will start. So what we're going to do is actually replace the whole ignition cylinder. Um, now the way we're going to be doing it is, uh, I'm re removing the whole cylinder and then I'm going to put a whole new cylinder in. So what that's going to do for him is he's now going to have to carry two keys. He could get the doors re-key to match the ignition key, um, but there's another way around it too. I, I did this on my wife's Liberty, where I just replaced the outer portion of it, and I was able to use the original key. So I think what's going on, he's got two things going on. Um, it's probably that the key was worn out when the previous owner made a new copy. Um, it's never good to do that guys. In fact, when you get a new car, it's always good to make another copy at that point and just stash it away somewhere to where later on down the road, when you need to get some keys made, you have a new key you can make it from. Uh, so just a little tip for you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and, uh, take a look at the parts that he's got for me and, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the vehicle. All right, guys. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hit that little bell for upcoming notifications. All right, guys. Alright guys, so this is a uh, Dorman kit, it's uh, 924-897, we got this off of Amazon, I believe it was about what, 60 bucks, not a bad little kit. Like I said though, the downside to it is you get some new keys, so you will be having to carry two new keys with you, or one new key with you. Um, not a big downside, you can always get your uh, doors rekeyed. It also comes with a new uh, ring, because when you're doing the job, you're going to have to pop the old one off. Uh, now, you could try to reuse the old one, or just pop this one in. Um, and then, of course, the, the key cylinder to match the key. Uh, so this kit comes with full instructions, which is really nice. Most kits don't come with uh, instructions on how to replace the... Uh, ignition switch so let's go ahead and uh, get into the car and uh, see what we have to remove all right guys so what we're gonna be working on today is the ignition switch we're gonna need to pop off the ring around it and then there's a few screws underneath and the screws underneath are 5.5 millimeter uh, socket um, now it's a special type of socket and I'll show you in a minute here um, it's got to be a, a really narrow diameter to fit into the holes up underneath. Okay, so like I said, first thing you're going to pop this guy off, and then you're going to come up underneath. And let's see here. Let's see if I can get these. There's two screws, one right in that hole, and one right underneath your tilt. Let's get, I'll get a light on. There it is. Okay, those are 5.5 millimeters. Now this is the type of screw that you're gonna be using, or excuse me, tool that you're gonna be using. See how narrow this diameter is? Most socket wrenches are probably about a 16th inch wider all the way around, which will not fit in the hole. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this guy off. So I'm gonna use this plastic tool. If you don't have a plastic tool, a screwdriver will work too. Now it seems like this whole thing's kind of loose on my uh, brother's car. We'll see if we can tighten that up when we open it up. So what we're gonna do is just put it underneath here. Put 
your hand over it so it doesn't go shooting across the car. Probably gonna reuse this one because this one actually has painted on start, run, and uh, lock symbols. Now, putting it back on, there's only one way to put it back on. This little tab here is gonna fit in that little hole. So you just slide it back in. You can't get it confused. It's gonna go right back the same way it came in. Okay, so we're gonna set that aside. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and use that wrench. Put it up on here. And the second one's right here. So now that we have that off, we're just gonna split the case, okay? Okay, so now you're just gonna take this case and split it apart. This bottom one, there's three more screws that are holding that guy on. So this is the cylinder we're looking at. Okay, so what you're gonna need, you're actually gonna need the key to go in there. You're gonna put it in the uh, the run or accel uh, accessory uh, position, just so you can pull it out. Okay. So before we go on a little bit further, this is the issue he's been having. He has to play around with it until it finds the the sweet spot. As you can see, I can't even find the sweet spot. This is this you've been having, huh? How long have you been dealing with this? A while. A while, okay. And yeah, he came to me telling me he had this issue. I didn't believe it, it was this bad. Because when he took me for a ride, it started right up. There we go, look at that. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> And before we continue, actually, you know what? Let's unhook your battery. Before we start this project, you're going to want to remove two battery posts so you don't have power going to ignition. You got the negative here and positive there. They're both eight millimeters. So let's go ahead and take those things off. All right, so as you're looking at the ignition with the key in the uh, accessory or run position, there's three holes here. One, two, three. Here, looking at the middle hole. That one has uh, a through hole all the way to the key cylinder. And what it's pushing on is this little tab right here. So 
So once you push that down, you should be able to pull the whole cylinder out. You may have to turn the cylinder a little bit. So let's get you guys set up so I can push that out. All right, guys, so you're first gonna wanna put the Allen key in the bottom hole here. You'll feel it push in. Okay, once it clicks and that uh, little lever is pushed in, take the Allen key and stick it in this side hole. Okay. Once you get it all the way in, this lock cylinder will just slide out. Kind of have to wiggle it and it'll come right out. Look at that. Okay. So now, to install a new one, All right guys, so since we have all those filings in there, I'm gonna go ahead and just run a rag in there and clean it out. So this kit came with a little grease. Just wanna put a little bit all the way around the cylinder so it slides in and it'll spin nicely. So we're going to go ahead and put the old one back in just so it, because it has all the lettering on it. So that's done. Let's get the battery hooked back up and see if we can start this guy. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me on another episode of uh, DIY Friday. Uh, working on my brother Saturn. Replaced that ignition switch. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I was expecting, uh, only because we weren't able to get it out because the key was worn out. Um, but that being said, we were able to figure it out and uh, get it removed. Uh, what you got to remember though is you got to put an Allen key in the bottom, turn it, and then put an Allen key in the side. The directions that come with it does not say anything about the Allen key on the side, so you got to remember that one, guys. Um, so if you're reading the directions, it'll get you part way there. It won't actually get you all the way there. So, anyways, thanks again for watching. Remember to uh, like, comment, subscribe. Remember, guys, it's always built, not bought. See you on the next one, guys.